Hi guys, this is Sunny. In this tutorial, what I want to show you guys is how to reverse a string with vowels. For example, let's say you have a string like hello, and this is going to be the input into my program that I'm going to create. And what I want to output is something like H O L L E. So if you look at this, in the input string, I had this was the first vowel from the left, and this was the first vowel from the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to reverse these two vowels. So you're going to have an O in place of an E and an E in place of an O. So that's what I want to do in my program. So let's write a program for this. So so it's going to be let's make a private static. Uh, I'm going to return a string reverse string and so string word and now first I'm going to check whether the word is empty uh, so word equals null or word dot trim length equals zero so I just want to return something empty and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to so this is going to be a word array so it's going to be word dot trim dot uh, to character array so this is going to give me a character array something like this um, h comma so that's going to be the first character the second character is going to be e third character is going to be l the fourth is going to be l and the fifth is going to be o that's what i'm going to have in this array and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find the first index of this array so it's going to be the first index so the first index we know is going to be 0 and I'm going to find this sec the last index in this so that's going to be a word array dot length that's going to be the last index minus 1 because the last index is going to be minus 1 for us for in the array and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the loop which is first index is less than or equal to the last index and I'm gonna execute this while loop and now I want to check so so let's say you know I get a character so let's say the character the first character is gonna be so word array and that's gonna be the first index and uh, this is the last character so the last character is the character from the right side so just make sure this is the character from the from the left when we're coming from the left and this is going to be the character when we're coming from the right okay I hope that's clear so word array last index so now what I want to do is I want to check whether these two are actually a vowel so if is vowel first character and is vowel the last character what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse them so so I'm gonna say character Sorry, the name of the array is word. So word and the first index. So that's the index. And I want to put the value last character into that. And in the last index, I want to put the the first character. Okay, so I know I didn't create this method yet. Um, but before I actually create this, I'm gonna make sure you guys understand this. So here, what I'm doing is I'm I'm st I'm I'm reversing the characters. So right now, what we have right now for word array first index, I have I have let's say the e. Okay. I wanna make sure I put this vowel into this location first index. So I'm gonna put over here, which is the last character. And then I want to put in the last correct index, I want to put the first character, which in this case is going to be E. Okay, so 
And same thing, so now, but one thing we need to make sure over here is we want to make sure the index goes up for the first index and the last index goes down. So that way we're going to go, so the first index is going to check from the left, it's going to check H, E, L, like so, and the last index is going to check O, L, and L, like so. Once they reach the same location, the same value once they have, the first and the last index, it's not going to come into this loop. It's going to go, it's going to go past this loop and it's going to exit out of this loop. Okay. So now let's say now we go to the next if, if block, which is the else if. So let's say it's, so it's, if it's not a vowel, first character, and this is a vowel, let's say, last character. So, so this is not a vowel and this is a vowel. So what we want to do is we want to increment. So now, so the first character is not a vowel. That means on the left, this is not a vowel. So what we want to do, we want to put the first index to this location. Right now it's at this location and this is not a vowel. We want to make sure we go to the next one. So here, so we want to do the first index goes plus plus one. That's it. We don't want to change the last index because the last index is already pointing to this one, which is the O. And else if is vowel first character. So, that was, so the first character is a vowel, but the last character is not a vowel. So here it's not a vowel. So what we're going to do, we're going to decrease the index for the last character. Okay. And now we come to the else statement. If both they both are not a vowel. So then in that case, we just want to do first index plus plus and last, last index minus minus. So last index minus minus i hope you guys understand the meaning of the plus plus and minus minus so here what we're essentially doing so this is the shorthand for first index plus one this is shorthand for this that means first increment the value increment the value by one and then and then put the new value into this same thing over here so it's, it's doing subtraction first and then putting the value into the last index variable Okay, so go back to the previous, okay, so here, and now we're done with this logic, we just need to do, we need to make sure we uh, return the string and create the method as well, so I didn't forget that, um, so let, let me just create the method first, so create, so here I want to return if this is a vowel, so I think I already have this, so essentially I just copied and pasted from my other board, uh, so this is not this is pretty straightforward so what i'm essentially doing over here is i'm checking uh, the character from the set of characters over here so all these are if you look at this a e i o u and the same the capital letters as well so all these are vowels so i'm just checking and returning whether it's a vowel or not so i have that so here i want to just want to make sure i return um, i return the, the proper strings so i'm just going to return uh, so, so the character array, so the character array was the word array to string. I think there's a better way of doing that. So you can do, you can use a string class. And uh, I think it was a value, I think the name of the method. Yeah, value character array, which is a word array. And that's it. So that completes this method. I think this is, I think there's no issues in that. All we need to do is just test the same string and check the result. So, so let's say you have, so I'm gonna sys out reverse string. So reverse string. So reverse string and I'm gonna put the string over here. Okay, so hello. So let's say what we get in this case. 
I think yeah so that's correct so H O L L E so let's check something else I have vowels so let's see what we get so I try to make sense if we have the right answer so here so from the left I get so let me just put it somewhere over here so you guys understand this so the input in this case I have vowels so from the left the left the, the first index so I, I find a vowel so I from the right this is not a vowel this is not a vowel this is a vowel so e is a vowel so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm reversing them so I'm putting an e over here and putting an I at this location and that's what's going on over here so I'm putting put an I over here and put an e over here and then I increment the index for this and decrement the index for this so I come to this W and I go to H and H and W are no, they're not vowels so I go up again and find A and I have an A over here and the next one is O for the last index so I now I reverse them again I think this is correct uh, the program is working fine there are no issues um, this is the best uh, you can do for this one again this one is uh, the complexity the time complexity in this case is n and uh, yeah so if there is anything else you guys want me to cover please let me know uh, if you like this video please subscribe and uh, leave a comment or something uh, I read all my comments um, so feel free to actually you know read, uh, uh, put a comment and uh, and let me know about your views thank you so much guys